We're doing multifamily due diligence for some out-of-state investors today. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV, and I'm your host, James Wise. And today, I'm doing some due diligence on some multifamily properties. We got them on the board. 1022 West Erie, Lorraine 44052. Now, I'm doing this due diligence from a man, Rhett, and his business partner. You guys uh, just reached out to me. Doing a 1031, as I talk to you right now, it's Tuesday, and you guys got to identify all of your properties by Saturday. So, obviously, uh, super, super short crunch on time, right? And you guys gave me a pretty narrow criteria, so I told you some of the stuff I'm going to show you is going to fall a little bit outside of your criteria, right? You said you're interested in quads, but also 8 to 15 units. This one is going to be a total of 5 units. It's 2 duplexes and then 1 standalone building, which is a studio apartment and a garage. You guys were pretty big on... B-grade neighborhoods, this one's also going to fall a little bit outside of your parameters there. This is what I would consider a C to D class neighborhood. Now, when I uh, did some of those other videos, I told you we're going to do six videos for you guys. I want to give you six options so you can make the best decision for yourselves. But super limited inventory, and you guys have given me an incredibly small window of time to try to deliver. So we have to get a little creative, right? So that's what I did with this particular one. Listed at $198,000, and I know it's a little out of your... Uh, you know, out of exactly what you guys want to do, but I think you guys might want to give this bad boy a chance, right? This is what the listing agent wrote. Great turnkey investment opportunity. Group of properties on two parcels, including two duplexes plus a studio apartment with attached storage and garage. Fully occupied at $25.60 a month. All tenants are on leases and pay all utilities. Received uh, recent updates include remodeled kitchens and bathrooms, new carpet, fresh paint, plumbing updates, new flat roof, and on front porch. Five-minute walk to downtown Lorraine. Water is in landlord's name and billed back to the tenants. Collect with the next month's rent. POS violation free. All right, let's digest some of that at the end there. First of all, POS violation free. I want you to pause this video if you've never heard the term POS. If you're investing in the Cleveland neighborhoods, very important. It stands for point of sale. I have a video in the show notes. I want you to watch that. You're going to need to understand what the point of sale stuff is when you're working out here in Cleveland. Now, moving forward, I assume you guys know what I'm talking about. So, the fact that it's POS violation-free, that's awesome. Number two, I want to digest. He's talking about uh, the water's got to be in his name and he bills back to tenants. That's fucking insane, completely ridiculous, makes no goddamn sense. You sometimes will get uh, mom-and-pop landlords that don't really understand the business that will try to do those things. We don't roll like that at Holton Wise. It's not scalable. It's not uh, even, like, efficient, and you can't really do that, Okay. You have to pay the water bill. We got to build it into the rent, right? So this is what I did for you. He's got his tenants paying twenty five sixty a month, plus he pays the the rent the water himself and tries to bill it back and some fucking bullshit. We don't do that. It's not how it works. We have a whole section of information on our property management fact dedicated to why we will not do what this guy's doing. Uh, so check that out. I don't want to burn a bunch of real estate. Pun intended. Don't want to burn a bunch of real estate in your video, right? So you can't do that. So what I did is I've given you the market rent uh, with the water being included. We could just convert all the tenants over to this. Now, you know, some of these might be tiny increases to what they're getting. Uh, so we could let their exist exist existing leases run out till we get to that point. But essentially, this is what you're looking at for the long term, fellas. 3100 a month coming in, 37200 for the year. 
with that thirty-seven thousand two hundred for the year, I anticipate you guys spending eighteen thousand three hundred thirty-six to operate that property. That includes you guys paying forty-five hundred dollars a year in water and sewer bills. It also includes you guys saving eighteen sixty for capex, vacancy and non-payment repairs and maintenance. Right? You work in these blue-collar, low-income type neighborhoods, you're going to get that type of stuff. Right? So that is going to give you an NOI, an average NOI in this bad boy. 18864 And as for the pictures, I mean, you know, this is just straight CD class investing, dudes. There's the other building, nice brick one. And then this is the little studio with the garage, right? And when you see on the inside here, man, you know, it's not bad, right? It's just, you know, this is some of the photos before they got the tenants in this particular unit. Just nice, decent, fresh stuff. And then you see some of the other photos when we start to see it with all the tenant stuff in there. It gets a little crowded, okay? See, it's starting off okay, but then, you know, we start to see a little bit more clutter. There's our electric panels, and you start to see, you know, the stuff. This is just, you know, normal units, man. This is just what it looks like when uh, you got, you know, CD tenants living there. Just, you know, blue-collar folk, right? It's it's all right, whatevs, man. Nothing major I'm seeing as far as all the mechanicals. Everything looked pretty decent to me. Just normal mid-to-end-of-life stuff, right? As far as the price goes, they've listed it at 198 as I said earlier, but it's been on the market for a, a little bit, man. We've had some time on the market here. It's been on the market for over two months now, and nobody else has picked it up. So that tells us we can try to push, try to push on these sellers a little bit. So I'd like to come in hot, man. Let's try to negotiate them down to 175 Now, if I can't get them at 175 exactly, fellas, it's still a pretty damn solid deal. But the numbers at 175 they look like this. 10-8 cap. 28% cash on cash return if you're able to utilize a traditional 30-year mortgage, which would be 25% down and then 75% loan to you by the bank. That's best case scenario. Now, I know you guys had talked to me about uh, wanting to not utilize traditional residential mortgages. You do like quads. And the reason you like them is because you can get that 30-year financing. But you guys are apprehensive about putting a property in your personal name. Now, I would assume this is probably because you guys are worried about some type of like liability getting sued by your tenants. Now, I am not an attorney. This is not legal advice. I am not your CPA. This is not uh, tax advice. But what I will tell I'm not even an insurance agent. Yes, I do own an insurance office. Uh, but what I will tell you, my opinion. Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. As someone who has sold over $200 million of real estate, someone who manages a portfolio valued around $75 million, about 80% of that is third party for guys like you. The other 20% I own myself with my business partner, John Holton, right? What I will tell you through being in the industry is I do not think you guys are at a very huge risk uh, when it's in your personal name. I know a lot of people like the LLCs for uh, asset protection and things of that nature. Look, man, here's the deal, guys. Anybody could sue anybody in America, but if you're really going to lose like a major huge lawsuit, you have to have some serious level of negligence. Now, you guys being third party, being out of the state, what you guys need to make sure you do is number one, hire a licensed property manager and general contractor. Do not hire unlicensed illegal companies like that. Luckily for you guys, Holton Wise is a licensed General contractor. Holton Wise is a licensed real estate broker. Holton Wise is a licensed property manager, right? If you hire licensed professional individuals, it shields you from a lot of liability, right? Even if we went off the reservation and did something totally crazy, you're still a little bit shielded uh, because you can kind of push that blame off onto the licensed entity, right? The state licenses us for all that. That's number one. Number two, I see a lot of guys... Uh, getting, you know, nervous, uh, you know, with their names being on the deed and things of that nature, You're, you know, dealing with being a landlord, things like that, evictions. You got to understand, when you're doing this and you're hiring a third-party company like us, we are essentially the face of your property. Nobody is really ever going to think about you guys or, you know, consider you guys the owners, right? They just think, oh, I'm dealing with Holton Wise, Holton Wise. I mean, that's where the buck ends, right? We don't introduce you to your tenants. We don't ever... Tell the tenants uh, your names, give them your contact information, nothing like, hey, 
we'll be your property managers, but if you have an issue, you can call Rhett. Like, we don't do that, man. It's the tenants talk to us, us alone. That's all that happens. And then the third thing I can tell you is to shield yourself uh, from liability. What you want to do, and we actually make you guys do this if you work with us, is you want to get a personal liability policy, okay? You want to get a liability coverage policy on all your your properties, right? You're going to insure each of these homes, any home you buy, any building you buy, you're going to insure it, right, for the value of the home. But you're also going to want to slap a $300,000 liability policy on that property. All of those things, you do those, you know, you got those three points I made right there. I think all of them should lead you to believe that the risk of owning it in your own name does not outweigh the benefits of being able to get that awesome 30-year loan. But of course, it is your business. You could also put it in an LLC and get a commercial loan on this. Of course, your terms won't be as good. But that is just my opinion. And I'll tell you guys one other thing. Being in this business as long as I have, I've been in and out of courtrooms many, many times. I don't think we've ever had to, in the history of us being in business, uh, pay out anything more than a couple security deposit disputes in regards to paying out tenants who've sued us, uh, despite being sued multiple, multiple times, you know, being guys that have such a large portfolio and have thousands of tenants, things of that nature. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of fluff out there, a lot of people talking, a lot of people scared, uh, a lot of panic, which in my opinion is completely unnecessary. But that's just all my opinion. You guys hire me to give you my opinion, but it's your money, it's your business, it's your portfolio. You make the best decision for you so if you guys want to make a move on this property the other two i sent to you or the following three stay tuned for those or reply to the private email i sent you to make an offer on each of the previous three thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment